Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, what is good? How is everybody's fall going on? In LA it is still a bajillion degrees, so um, I do have my little fan on because I don't have air conditioning. When I film I get so overheated that if I don't have like a little something blowing in my face, I am sweating. I literally will edit my footage and then I'm all shiny, so please bear with me. This is how I don't die. Also it does look kind of cute, you know, a little, a little wind blowing in my hair, a little Beyonce moment, maybe. I did get a haircut by the way, I was really scared but I just told my hairstylist she's like the most brave woman ever she has like the craziest hairstyles all the time and I was like I want to cut my hair but I'm not sure she's like do it she's like how much do you want to cut off and my hair was like mind you like all the way maybe up to here like here um, and she was like how much do you want to cut off and I'm like I don't know maybe like up to here she's like yeah she grabs the scissors and just cuts it like oh I guess we're going with this and I'm so glad that she had more courage than I did because I feel like a brand new woman anyways today I got a cute little fashion overhaul for you guys um, last time I uploaded a fashion overhaul um, I had quite a few comments and concerns people kind of expressing their opinions and um, of course as you guys know I read all my comments and your opinion does matter a lot to me so um, I wanted to kind of start a discussion with you guys um, as to what you think a lot of people had a lot to say about the fast fashion industry and um, I agree I think that as a society as a um, capitalist country there's a lot of work that needs to be done to move to a more sustainable uh, business model when it comes to clothing and production of clothing and consuming the way I personally view it is when I purchase my pieces I am very very careful to select things that I think I'm actually gonna wear a lot um, or things that actually um, has a lot of value to kind of style and rewear with pieces um, so I don't just like buy things aimlessly and even when I get stuff for free you guys know that I do a lot of fashion content on Instagram Instagram and um, I used to do a lot more on YouTube so a lot of brands would send me stuff or I would just go to a fashion showroom and basically I can pick out whatever I want I know it's like crazy um, but I've really learned to be very mindful of those things like I would only pick out even though it's free I would only pick out the things that I will absolutely wear and rewear um, so today I thought it would be appropriate to do a little fashion Nova denim haul because I think denim is something that you can wear and rewear and style a lot I feel like cotton and nylon and those types of fabrics especially if they're not like super high-end pieces they can kind of be worn a couple of times washed and then you never wear them but with denim jackets pants dresses skirts um, it's something that really is just something that will be in your closet for a while so that's my take on it let me know in the comments below what do you guys think I'm always curious about your opinion and without further ado let's get into the haul the first piece is a little denim corset um, I think the detailing on this is beautiful um, it's actually sewn in like really nicely in and in the back it has these sort of like kind of broad like clasps um, I like that this is not too tight it has like quite a bit of room in the back to like tighten up because sometimes with corsets you know if you've had like a good meal like you don't want to be looking like a Vienna sausage like where everything is like <laughs> I would wear this with like some high-waisted pants um, you could even do like a denim on denim look like the way that I tried it on I tried it on with some mom jeans and I feel like this is so cute this would be so cute to wear to a night out or to like a club or a bar um, this just kind of makes me think of all the times that I've just been so like oh my god I hate clubs like I hate bottle service I just want to like go to a festival or go to like hang out with people at like a house party or something Something like that now looking back I miss it man I just miss putting myself together looking and feeling like a million bucks and just going for a dance night next is a sort of like ruchy denim top with a poofy sleeve um, this is like a very romantic piece but you can also make it more sporty like pair with some sweatpants or like a like an edgy denim skirt with sneakers um, something like this uh, is like a perfect definition of a cute top like you know when your friends message you in the group chat they're like what are you wearing tonight I'm like I don't know jeans and a cute top so this is like a cute top <laughs> it also fits really well it's kind of like form hugging and the denim is really soft on the sleeves and then the ruching detailing is like really cute I also feel like this would look really cute with a bunch of layered necklaces and jewelry it just kind of has that like romantic Italian vibe this satin top I'm obsessed with like you know how some things look really good on the model when you order them but then in person it's like pfft. this one actually fits like a dream because not only it has like you know the decollete area like the little ruching here but in the back it has this like scrunched rubber thing that like really hugs you and really kind of accentuates your figure and this has like the tiniest little like 
peplum situation. Like I have a few of those silk tops that are so popular on Instagram and every single blogger wears those that are kind of just like loose um, and then don't accentuate your figure. Like when you turn to the side, it just looks like, you know, flat. Like if you're looking for one of those effortless silk tops that you can pair with jeans, um, something like this that has like this detailing scrunched up in the back um, is really, really perfect because it just doesn't look like a box and it just makes your body look really nice. Out of all the pieces, this is probably my most uh, trendy piece. Sorry, I'm like getting a little thirsty. Do you guys like micheladas? Micheladas are like my favorite. Anyway, um, I picked up this sort of a mesh top. This is probably the most trendy piece that I'm gonna show you today. Um, I feel like butterflies have been everywhere this summer. Um, I love the butterflies. I love the bright blue. For some reason, I'm really drawn to like um, pastel blues this summer. Now that the summer is over, even though it doesn't feel like it because LA is a million degrees, but I still feel like this would be really cute with like a jacket and some high-waisted jeans. Like, I don't know why nobody told me that those skinny jeans that are the smallest size possible, even though I am little, Little, um, it are not the most flattering thing like you really don't need to have your love handle super squeezed and like just you know your legs looking like they're about to burst in order to feel cute or look cute I wish somebody would have just told me to stop wearing so many skinny jeans so I present to you mom jeans um, because in this household we appreciate comfort these are dope it is so hard to find a good mom jean that has like some kind of scrunching and it just doesn't look like, you know, straight. Um, this one has like some kind of like scrunching at the top, as you can see. Um, and it just like, it gives you still a little bit of an hourglass figure. You can breathe, you can eat. Um, you don't have to worry about like your stomach poking out. Now, I don't want to give anybody any insecurities. I personally am the most insecure person when it comes to my stomach. That's been like my number one thing growing up my whole life. Um, so discovering something like this that doesn't just like push my stomach in and just makes me so uncomfortable has kind of made me embrace and love my stomach even on days that it's like a little bloated and I've had some food you know get yourself some mom jeans I am so happy that medium length denim shorts are back in fashion like you have no idea I feel like little tiny booty shorts have been in style for way too long and while I don't have anything against them I just haven't felt like wearing them lately and when I do want to show a little bit of leg like hi some ripped up denim medium shorts like i love these and they're high waisted so i can style them with pretty much anything and everything i love these i have worn these non-stop literally with everything like i've paired this with the silk top i've paired it with a blue top i've paired it with sweatshirts um, i just wear these all the time coming up next we have another corset and this is a very unique and different corset from anything i've ever owned or picked um, this one actually kind of curves at your um, love handles or at your waist um, and it's actually like not tight it could be a little bit tighter maybe i should get what size is this s um, if you kind of have my body type i would recommend an extra small i actually love that it's not super tight like it's actually super freaking comfortable I would pair this with something like a little bit more tight at the bottom or even actually even like a tennis skirt or something like that Like I've never seen a corset that tapers at the bottom and I think it's a great design It's very flattering and really cute this dress. Can we talk about this dress? Um, the denim on this is so thin Thick. like it's actually like really substantial like a thick ass denim dress and when you put it on it just like <clears throat> like it gives you like a little like power moment you know like I love the poofy sleeves I love like the half corset design that kind of like goes like this one small problem which I'm so sad about it doesn't zip like right about here for me because um, th this is what happens all the time I'm an extra small everywhere else but my boobs are bigger so right at the boob area no matter how much I try I cannot zip it up so I'd have to go for a size bigger um, I'm just gonna give this to my friend she has like a very similar style so she would love this but this is so cute like I'm actually so sad <laughs> This skirt is something that I have never owned in my wardrobe. I feel like all the skirts that I've had were just like, you know, the basic regular um, denim at the top. But I love this detailing, like ruching at the top. You're actually comfortable when you're wearing this, even if you're going to work. Um, it's like a very thick denim. So I feel like this could definitely pass as an office skirt, but also as a casual, just going to the mall skirt because you can pair it with some sneakers, um, like a cute little crop top or a bodysuit. Um, for something like this, I feel like a tight bodysuit works really Really, really well I like that it also kind of tapers at the side so if you don't have like a lot of curvature going on um, these are the pieces that you want to look for that are tailored specifically to create the illusion of more curves I also picked out a couple jackets um, this one is just like a big oversized gray jacket and it has a bunch of rips at the end just 
you know, just a big, big old gray oversized jacket. Um, it does feel very sturdy. It's like a thick denim. It's not like one of those like thin chambray shirts, which I'm very impressed by. I really like this. Uh, for something like this, I would style it with like a little bandeau top and some sweatpants or like even like a little mini um, silk black dress with some white sneakers. Um, this is, yeah, this is very versatile. You just throw it on during fall, bundle up and go. How dope is this jacket? Look at this. The back sort of has this Mona Lisa detailing wearing a face mask and the face mask says shut up. I love it. I want to wear this everywhere I go. This is like the sickest statement jacket. I love when jackets and sweatshirts have like a super dope um, artwork or graphic in the back. And when I saw this, it looked super dope on the website. When I actually saw it in person, I was super impressed. This is sort of like a silk satin printout and it has all these eyelet details that look super cool. This is actually like a different brand. It's American Bozzy denim jeans. I don't know if it's a Fashion Nova brand, but I noticed that they have a lot of different like brands and tags on their website. So I can see myself styling this for fall with like like a cute little um, neon bralette and some high-waisted mom jeans. Sick. The last piece for today is this jacket. It's also my favorite, favorite piece from everything that I got. Um, look at the bottom of this. Like it's so cool. It's like really distressed and soft. So even though like it's like a kind of a thick denim, it's still really, really soft. And here, if you add a belt or anything, you can even turn it into a dress. I just love this jacket. Like compared to this one, that's so like structured and like military and like, mm, you know what I mean? It's a kind of like boyish, like my boyfriend could fit in this. This one has like a similar vibe, but it's so soft and the dusty pink just goes with everything. And I just love, love the bottom, the way that it styles it like kind of like looks like a shirt. I don't know if you can see. I just love this. These are the pieces that I have. Let me know if you guys like them. Um, I love talking to you guys. So leave me some comments down below. Let me know which one did you like? Um, which one was your favorite? Also, what I mentioned earlier today about um, the feedback that you guys gave me on the last video. What are some things that you personally do that you would recommend to me or anybody in the comments reading down below that um, would kind of reduce, you know, the buying so much fashion? Because I feel like for me to personally encourage people to never buy fast fashion or like never go to H&M, never go to Forever 21 or Zara, you know, it's not sustainable for me because I know I'm always gonna like, you know, pick a little something out, but let me know. Um, if you feel passionate about the subject, I would love to read your comments. I am always open to feedback. If you're still here, give me a like. It helps me out so much and also subscribe and hit that notification bell. Thank you guys so much for supporting me and watching my videos. I will see you on my channel very, very soon. I have been on a freaking roll if you haven't noticed. Um, and on that note, I feel like I'm losing my voice. I love you guys so much. I will see you in my next video. 